Hello everyone, Aldbar here. This is my solo walkthrough and guide to the level 4 heroic quest, the Bookbinder Rescue, on the Elite difficulty. Enjoy! Hi everyone, Warjack here. This quest is part of the Sharn Syndicate quest chain. Here our task is to save this family, the Bookbinder family. Here they're being captured and being held ransom. So we can talk to the main thug over here and negotiate for the release. Well, not really. 50,000, he wants to take gold from you. Don't do it, he's just gonna take your gold, I think. Whatever the case may be, uh, you don't want to do it and you're going to end up having to fight this guy fighting him will put you on the ground floor and alert everything in this quest to you and you'll be starting out with a well disadvantage so instead of that we'll show you a different method to starting this quest. Okay, I'm going to exit and reset the quest. Now, instead of stepping in the main entrance, there's a ladder right next to it. If you climb up this ladder, we can enter the same quest through the window. This time, we're not facing the main thug right out from the start rather we're starting in from the side so we're going to also be using this window to get the prisoners out much more convenient than walking them to the front door you found one of the hostages and your arrival has given her the here we've got a whole bunch of squishy npcs the uh, some of them are fatal states that means if they die the quest is over and some of them are just optional and the problem is there's also traps and also a bunch of things who kill things, so whatever. Now which uh, which NPC is in which room is kind of random, so you might be able to finish this quest really fast and you might not. Also there's ways to open up these doors from the inside and by using the switch. Well actually the switch disables the trap, but you can disable the trap manually to get the extra XP and you can either break the doors or pick them yeah there's trap boxes on both sides of the door pick whichever one you want and here's where we, here's the other side of where we were before before we came in from the bottom we're at the bottom of those stairs behind us and now well we're at the top floor There's a big grease trap next to this door. You hear struggling from the inside, hesitant footsteps, and the metallic hiss of a drawn blade. This plucky elderly woman looks like she's giving the Sean Syndicate a heart. Yeah, the, this quest can give you a lot of grief. These NPCs are very uncooperative and they run all, all, all over the place. Here, I just killed the boss. He ran upstairs to, to fight me in. Well, he's gone. There, we've got another NPC hanging out. But I'll get rid of this trap first. Relatively speaking, out of quests that have NPCs who induce anxiety, this is up there on the list. But I personally think it's not that bad. Uh, my only defense to it is that it's just not that long. Uh, the quest is not a massively long quest, so it's not kind of it's not like you invest 10, 15 minutes and then have to restart. The whole thing is over in like three, four minutes if you're going quick, so no big deal. Yeah, let's get this NPC out. Click on her and 
basically you just walk her to the window. You can also walk her to the front door, but then you have to go down the stairs and hope she follows you. Window's easier. Graymar Binder is now safe, out of the reach of these vile shots. Yeah, here's where we entered the first time. Through this door right over here. I don't have to go down here, but I want to get the kills. Most of the stuff downstairs already aggroed on me and ran up the stairs to fight me, so. Only one dog left. Yeah, this hallway's got a whole bunch of traps in it. As I mentioned before, depending on which room has which prisoner, the quest might suddenly end if you save the right prisoner, so. I have no way of knowing who's gonna who's gonna be behind which door. This door on the right has two traps on it. Seem to always miss one of these traps. I guess my strength isn't good enough to break this door. I'll just pick it. Or use a fireball, whatever. You hear you found the last hostage. It's time to get all of them out of the Yeah, there's two prisoners in this room. Suddenly ending the quest. Yeah, for completion's sake, I'm gonna go through all the rooms though. These two rooms are connected with a secret door between them. You can enter through one and then sneak your way into the other one. If you find this secret passageway through this, uh, I don't know, it's supposed to be a fireplace or something. Yeah, there we go. I collect all these NPCs and don't follow me out, and we should be done. Gerald Binder is still there we go. Shaking as he leaves the Binder home, but he's safe now, thanks to you. Not anything worse about trying to protect a bunch of NPCs in this quest is the fact that there's no end chance to this quest. I mean, really. Oh well. Yeah, and for some reason all the items that you get from the end rewards are all bound to account. Well, that's it. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.